Hi everyone. So today's lesson is all about vocal projection. I don't know if you know much about this subject, but it's actually a lot to do with the diaphragm. It's just below the rib cage. A really good exercise is just quite literally to place your hands around that area. What you want to do is kind of clasp your hands and then see if when you breathe down there, you can get them to move apart slightly. So I want you to imagine clasped hands. A little diaphragm exercise. I thought a thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought. If the thought I thought had been the thought I thought I thought, I wouldn't have thought so much. Lying down can be easier because you know there's less distractions, so try that. I've also been told placing books on the stomach is quite useful because then you can just see if they, you know, they move up a couple of millimetres, then you know you're using that space. But I think that's for people who've practised for a while and have really strong diaphragms, like actors for instance. So I'm going to actually just post a few sentences, like tongue twisters, that you might want to use. Start with something that's kind of easy for you, with some sounds that you don't find too difficult. Um, you could even just, you know, practice saying your name or a short phrase like, I'm here. I've got a week's practice here, so every day you want to be doing a diaphragm practice. We call it diaphragmatic breathing, but it really it's diaphragmatic speaking, isn't it? So you're taking the air down there and then you're using it. And it doesn't have to be louder, it can be. If you can practice doing it very loudly, you might then feel like it's more obvious to you. And you can practice just speaking and you might just feel that your voice is a bit fuller, a bit lighter. <laughs> so practice. 